What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'll be talking about the top five reasons why now is a good time to invest in real estate, even though it's a recession. And if you stick around with me, I will tell you why I absolutely hate this money. Wrestling with Realty. Let's go. So allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rob Moore. I'm a realtor with Lifestyle Real Estate. And as I said, in this video, we'll be talking about the top five reasons why now is a good time to invest in real estate. So if you like what you see today, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also comment if you want to see videos like this in the future. Now, as I go through the top five reasons uh, why now is a good time to invest in real estate, Number one's kind of sad, but it's the truth. Wrestling with Realty. Let's do it. All right, guys. So here's the part where we talk about the top five reasons to invest in real estate, even though it is a recession. We're going to count these bad boys down, starting at number five. Number five. Stable income. That's right. Real estate, in most cases, produce stable income. I mean, think about it. Most investors now, uh, if they were in the middle of a fix and flip, they're now in the process of holding it. Holding it until the market starts to increase again. But I still know a few investors that are continuing on with the flip uh, because we haven't seen the price of homes decrease at all. In fact, it's maintained its level or it's going up slightly. Number four, they're less volatile, right? Real estate is less volatile as opposed to stocks, bonds, mutual funds. Real estate's less volatile. It's been proven. Check out the recession from 2008 if you don't believe me. Number three, property performance. That's right. In most cases, real estate will outperform stocks during a recession. Don't believe me? Once again, I refer you to 2008. You saw stocks plummet. Real estate did this. Kept right on going up. That's right, prices went up. So now, right now is a good time for me to take a pause for the cause and it is time for you to go ahead and smash that like elbow drop subscribe and it's time for me to do my magic trick that's right I'm gonna make a house appear in my hand now we go to number two distressed homeowners Distressed homeowners. What is a distressed homeowner? Well, that is a homeowner that has suffered some type of financial loss. They lost their job, um, lost their source of income, whatever it may be. They're distressed. That means in most cases, they are looking to get out of that home. And that is where you, as a savvy investor, steps in, arrange some type of funding, so you can get them some money in their pocket and get them out of that house so they don't have to suffer uh, something heartbreaking, which also happens to be number one, foreclosures. That's right, number one is foreclosures. With a foreclosure, it's gonna present a lot of opportunities for a lot of investors. Um, you're gonna see a lot of investors some people who never invested before in real estate start to step in and fix and flip some homes, among other things, buy and hold as well. And so as of right now, I have not seen foreclosures increase any, uh, but I'm guessing within the next six to 12 months, we will see foreclosures uh, start to go up here. So if you like what you heard, Feel free to like and subscribe. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me during this brief top five. 
reasons to invest in real estate, even though it's a recession. I know I missed quite a few. There's probably at least mm, 10 more reasons to invest in real estate during a recession. Some of my investors, I know you're watching, leave your comments at the bottom. And as I said before, I'm going to give you the, the reason why I hate this money. Because I can't spend it. That's right. I can't spend it. What do I mean by that? Some of you caught on to it. Some of you did. If you caught on to it, leave your comment below. This is Wrestling With Realty.